What's up guys? My name is Greg and I'm going to be showing you how to build eight of the most creative wine racks you will ever find. Make sure you stick around until the end of this video. I've got a great giveaway you don't want to miss out. Without any further delay, let's build. Starting off with our wine racks. They are not going to be in any specific order, but I am going to try and rank them from easy to moderate to difficult. This is genuinely a good opportunity for you to build this for yourself, friends or family, or for a gift for one of your loved ones. Starting off with wine rack number one. Let's go. So the first wine stand we are going to build is the easiest of them all. If you have the right tools, it's literally going to take you five minutes. Wine rack number one, I'm calling easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Starting off, I'm going to use a piece of pine timber that's 300 millimeters long, 114 millimeters wide by 38 millimeters thick. Then going to cut both sides at a 35 degree angle like this. Now, that our angles are cut, we are going to drill a 32 millimeter hole in the center using a 32 millimeter spade bit. Let's go. Now that our hole is cut, I'm going to give it a quick sand. Number two, I'm calling this wine rack the Ziggy Zaggy. You're going to need the following for this wine rack. I'm using 16 millimeter plywood, 600 millimeters by 200 millimeters, one off, 100 millimeters by 300 millimeters, three off. Let's build. So we're going to start off with our smaller pieces of plywood and we're going to screw everything together in a zigzag form like this. Now that our zigzag is done, we're going to screw these two pieces of plywood together, like this. Now we're going to take our 32 millimeter spade bit and drill the holes where our wine bottles are gonna be. Now I'm just going to add some strap hangers to the back of my wine rack and then we're going to hang it. Let's go. Moving on to the next wine rack. This one I'm calling the hole-in-one wine rack. Let's go. So I've got this off-cut piece of kiart from my previous project I'm going to use for the next wine rack. The size is 130 millimeters by 130 millimeters. And you're also gonna need a flange, a 15 millimeter connector piece, and a T-joint, 32 millimeters to 15 millimeters. Now all of these pipe fittings, you can find at your steel or pipe suppliers. Let's go.
There's a super awesome video I need you to check out. It's a very creative wine door I built. The link is going to pop up on the right hand side of your screen. Now go and check it out. It's a fun and exciting video of how you can build DIY projects and make money out of it. Moving on to the next wine rack. At number four, I'm calling this one the hole in three. Let's go. So I've got this off cut pieces of pine timber in my workshop. They are about 80 millimeters wide by 800 millimeters long. For this specific wine rack, I'm going to use four of them. Now I need to screw all of these together from the back, like this. For this build, you're gonna need the following. Three flanges with a 15 millimeter insert, three T-pieces, 32 millimeters by 15 millimeters. For some reason, they call this a nipple. You're gonna need three of them, 15 millimeters in diameter, 12 eight by 40 self-tapping screws, a bottle of wine, not for drinking, but for measuring purposes. One rack number five. This one I'm calling the hangman. For this build, you're gonna need three pieces of pine timber, 114 millimeter wide by 550 millimeters long. You're gonna need some rope and a 13 millimeter drill bit and a gas burner. Let's go. I already sanded all my pieces of pine. You want your pine to look rough and rugged. Now we're going to screw these three pieces of pine together like this. Now I'm going to mark out exactly where my loops are going to be for my wine bottles so I can put my rope through all the loops. Let's go. Now we're moving on to the next step. We're going to burn our wood and this method originally comes from the Japanese. Let's go! Wine rack number six. This one I'm calling the giveaway wine rack. I'm specifically building this one for a giveaway for one of my subscribers. So make sure you are subscribed. Leave a comment. What do you think about this wine rack? And you need to share this video. Obviously, there will be some rules I will leave in the description below. Without any further delay, let's build. For this specific wine rack, I'm not going to use pine. I've got this very expensive off-cut piece of kiat. I'm going to use 
to build this wine rack. We're going to need a solid base. So once our pipe fittings are up and our wine bottles are in, it won't be able to tilt. Now I'm going to cut my yard to the sizes I need, then I'm going to sand it, and then I'm going to route it, then I'm going to assemble everything together. Let's go. So now we need to build a small box with a perspex in front that can form our display. I'm going to use a 16 mm plywood, 50 mm thick, 200 mm long, times 2, 160 mm long, times 1. Now I'm going to cut a small groove in front where my perspex can slide in. Let's go. Now we're going to screw our box to our wine rack. Now, just a quick stain and then we are ready to go. I've got one more left and this one I'm calling 
the platter wine rack shelf foot stand wine rack let's go Now I'm going to add all these fittings to my platter. It's a flange with an extension piece, with an elbow, with an extension piece, with a T piece at the end where my wine bottle is going to go in. Let's go. Now just a quick varnish and then we're done. Let's go. This is all for today guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stick around for the bloopers. Cheers for now. There's a little dog in our complex. Every single time I record something, he keeps on barking. Listen, listen. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> that wasn't even two seconds. Listen. <laughs> that wasn't even one second. Oh my gosh. I love dogs. I love them. So I've got this off. Listen, listen, listen. Don't, come on, seriously. Come on. Moving on to wine rack number six. <laughs> oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Let's try and record while everyone's cutting their trees. Oh yes. <laughs> 